Now, the real estate in this... I can't go out there. The real estate in this neighborhood... This is a terrible neighborhood. <laughs> oh! Yep, I just <laughs> ran right into that one. <laughs> I don't think we have anything to heal either. Nope. Hello. So, Jesse, how, how do you feel about this game? We haven't really talked about that. How I feel about it? Yeah. I love this game. You like the remake? Yeah, I mean, I, do, I, I definitely think it is... It's hard to say if it's better than the first one. Because it's missing a lot of things that made the first one great. But they did such a good job with the remake that it's probably my top three Resident Evils. I'd say, like, both this and the original four were both in my top, like, top three Resident Evils. And then Resident Evil Village is probably up there, too. Church. So I, I like this game. I think it's very well made. It's fun to play. The guns feel all very good. You haven't gotten to my favorite part of the game yet, which is the, the shooting galleries. I don't know if you remember, there was like a shooting gallery in the original. I think there was only one of them. And it was kind of like not that fun. But like in this game, the shooting gallery is like the best Dude, this part guy. of the game. And that uses almost all of our like kitchen knife every time we like do it. Tom, no! I'll let you know when you switch over to your real man. One day we'll play Resident Evil Village, but we have to play 7 before Village. I don't know that that's ever going to happen. Yeah, we'll get cancelled before that. For sure. It's like, how many more of these games can you make me play? <laughs> Eh, you gotta admit, they're like a little bit fun. Like some, this one's fun, right? Like this is this is pretty good. It's definitely better than two. Mhm. Mm and Village is like basically an, a ripoff of RE4, but just in first person. Village is probably, I'd say, like the most popular Resident Evil game that's ever. Been. It has mass appeal. To, like people like you who are like you're too busy like thinking about their favorite Hall Alive girl to uh, focus on anything else. I don't think I don't need to think about who my favorite girl is. Like, that's well documented. One to roost. Well, not thinking about which ones are favorite, but just thinking about eagle? like uh, Miko. Just like oh man, I wonder what Miko's doing now. Uh, okay. I wonder what Miko like. I wonder if I Miko would like like upgrade the rifle or so? upgrade like oh, the semi-automatic rifle. Sure. I'll find a way in. Condor one out. What do you think of the architecture on this building? It's pretty amazing, and seems like they wouldn't have such good architecture. Here's something I was actually thinking about the other day, Dan. When do you think they discovered that triangles were the strongest shape? Probably a long time ago. <laughs> like you think about it, like. You hear that, right? Like, when you're, like, in science class in, like, uh, fucking elementary school, they're like, oh, man, triangles are, like, the strongest shape. Like, you, anything you build with a triangle will be stronger than anything that doesn't have a triangle. So do you think at some point, like, it, ancient people were like, oh, like, triangles, like, that's my jam? Seems like a waste. There's more stuff out here I could explore on there. Yeah, you can go around back here. There's nothing up there, just so you know. So you know so oh, so there's no point in climbing that? You'll come out there later, whenever you're doing bits later. Elegant. This this one's actually really easy, so I think we can do this. Do you think you can handle this? You just need to go to the graveyard and stab the twin gravestones. Go to the graveyard, uh, right over it's here? right here. Yeah. yeah, like over here, where we just were. And you just stab the one that's like a twin gravestone. That's it. That's all you have to do. Twin graves. Oh, there's something to pick up over there, too. Nice. See, it was worth it. Which one? This one? I think so. Them both? There you go. Done. Okay. Easy. Okay. Like a dirty fucking whore. 
for doing that. Yeah, do you just... want me here? I, do you want me to like? Here's what I'll do. Like, I won't make you do like the ones that suck and like are a pain in the butt that you have to like go kill rats or whatever. But there are some of them that are like killing like boss enemies. Like, do you want to do ones where you have to fight like strong enemies? I wonder who this is. I wonder who this woman is. Does that interest you or no? I'll just do it if it makes sense. If it makes sense. These guys don't get graves. They just kind of have a little slot in the ground. I mean, that's how to, how to do it, like, economically. Like, right? Like, they... This just opens that gate, like, that we could... Yeah, I just wanted it to be open, just in uh, case I have to run later. Oh, but it closes. Like, they... In, like, New Orleans, like, they learned how to do it properly. Like, you put the, the bodies in those, like, those, like, weird little mausoleums that they have that has the top open, and the body basically rots to, like, a, like a mummy, and then you just pile up the mummy bones into, like, a, a box, and then, um, then they're done. I think cremating just makes a lot more sense. Well, yeah, of course, but, like, there's, like, some religious issues with cremating for some people. I already have in my will that I want to be burned on a pyre, but I don't think it's gonna happen. No, you can't. You can't? What do you mean you can't? I'm not gonna let you get burned on a pyre in the modern day. Who? Who's government. gonna stop the government? <laughs> Joe Biden's gonna like come to, like stop it. Yes, there. Walk, walk, walk. I tried. Didn't let it happen. We have a bunch of meds we need to use anyway. That was your last bullet, just so you know. I can reload. He's about to change too. Man. Uh oh. You're out. Nice. Calm down for a second, Steven. That one's Steven? Yeah, I don't think this guy has a name yet. Like, Uncle Steven. Oh. <laughs> He's against the invisible wall. <laughs> he has the powers of invisible walls. Alright, I'm gonna feel like he still can't. me all your treasures. Give me your secrets. There's no, wait, in wait. this box. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, I, I, oh. I think you... Oh, shit. I think you learned your lesson, but rectangle boxes have snakes in them. Like, the game... In the first game, there's lots of boxes that are shaped like that, and they have other Sorry. things in them. But in this game, the only things that are in the rectangle boxes are snakes. I just wanted to make sure that you had learned your lesson. <laughs> You can just knife it. Just run away and knife the snake. You don't have to use a bullet on the snake. Stab it! I don't kill it, Leon. I'll teach him to be a snake in my house. Like, Leon's, like, super religious. Like, the devil. The devil's in the snake. Leon does seem like he'd be in, like, a Christian rock band. You say that? Yeah, yeah I agree. He has, like, youth, youth pastor vibes. But he also, in this game, he says a lot of, like, um... What is that called? Like, uh... What's, like, one of the commandments? Like, taking the Lord's name of vain. Like, he says, God damn it a lot. And he says, like, Jesus Christ. Like, all the time. I think we talked about this in the last Resident Evil, because he said the same things. It's like, does God exist in this world? Oh. Yeah, right. and I my thing with you is like, why wouldn't it? It's just the modern day, just like a different version of it. It's definitely not though. This world is so different. Like these people do not fuck. Thank you. <laughs> these people don't fuck. Except for that time Leon was on that train with Ada, and they almost fucked. Touched his thigh and he came. He touched his thigh. As opposed to that time that Claire was on the train with the pirate child. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best part of that game for sure. It was so fucking dumb. 
This is like a plug for our old series. If you haven't watched the Resident Evil 2 series, like it's which it, you it almost certainly name. haven't. You certainly have it, and you're certainly not watching. This it. motherfucker's Dude, still he, alive. Why is he still alive? Usually, when you light them on fire, it's it. Dude, he's still going. That's my knife. I got no knife, Jesse. Was that our big knife? Oh, it was. Was, but I had no choice. Fuck. <laughs> I had no choice. Shoot that shoot. thing there. We'll get it later. I had to spend all my money upgrading my sniper rifle that I haven't used at all. Oh. The sniper rifle will pay for itself in dividends, though. You just use the barrel here. Just use the barrel. Where did I go? Chad Riedel. You just scored a goal. I'm proud of you, Chad. I didn't think it was possible, but he did it. Man, the game just keeps. Anytime you're close to like running out of handgun ammo, it just gives you handgun ammo, which is nice. Mm -hmm. I wonder why that's there to like make sure you're paying attention. Like, oh no. <laughs> In this quiet area where there's nothing chasing me. Like, I hope I don't run into a fucking trap. Maybe for people who didn't fight out there, they just ran. Mm. Like cowards. I mean, the, in the last, in Resident Evil 2 when I played as Leon, I've, like, ran from most things. But that was a different game. That was, like, survival horror. Like, it gave you far less resources. And, like, the enemies took a little bit more than, like, this game is definitely it wants you to kill. Good them. luck finding someone big enough to use this thing. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like something your mom would use. <laughs> right, Dad? I didn't know your mom was in this game. Yeah, She's she a is big a big hammer. giant. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. I do you have to use a flash bomb in this area. There's Why? so many crows. This is something from the original that they kept in. There is a there's like 30 crows in that courtyard and if you shoot one you'll scare all of them but you can kill all of them with a flash bomb and i think one of them drops a flash bomb for you it's like intended for you to like use a flash bomb this is like a jesse wait like, will this kill jesse. them or do i have to flash and then shoot them no no it kills them it kills all of them but there's dogs out there too as you can like see right there dogs. yeah sure kill boss look at all those fucking crows Oh, he didn't oh, die. He's still up. Nice. Don't don't waste another shotgun on this guy. I don't. Well, yeah, you shouldn't. I, you made me think about that too much, Jesse. You should just let me shoot him. Sorry. Damn it. I mean, they both took two shotgun shells, which is crazy. Look at all this loot. All this crow. A lot loot. of stuff in there. Oh, they didn't drop a flash grenade. They a dropped a regular grenade, grenade, though. Yeah. In the original, there was one that was guaranteed to drop a flash grenade. But it was totally worth doing. We've got a bunch of gems and money. That's a pro tip for you kids out there that have never played Resident Evil. Kill the fucking the large amount of crows with a flash grenade. Uh-oh. Big man. Uh -oh. Yeah, I wonder what's in that. It's alright, he's still sleeping. I won't wake him. Hidden treasure box. Nope. We don't have the key for that yet. Oh, baby, I just remembered where we are. There's like boxes to the right here, but that's or the left and the right. Boxes on the other side. But we're about to come to my fucking Dan. Are you ready for this? No, I. I'm so excited for this. What's 
the blue fire mean? It means the merchants here. Anytime you see the purple blue fire. But also I can tell by the look on your face. There are enough weapons here to get a party going. Yeah, a party. Man, that sounds that seems like a controversial statement. Seems when you're looking like, at a rocket launcher? Wait, 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 wait like the speaking like the world climate and like how things are going in the US with gun control and children. Okay. But go down that elevator, Dan. Calls to me. It's like yes. a very fancy elevator for the environment. Oh dude, I'm so excited for this. This is, I'm not even joking, I'm not even being ironic. This is my favorite part of the game. Not sorting your inventory? The sorting the inventory is like number two. This is number one though. Look, there's a gotcha pawn machine. <laughs> Fuck yeah, baby. All right, let's see how good at you, how good you are. I I play on controller, like I've said before, but I do the shooting range on the uh, with the uh, mouse and keyboard. It's so fun. I wish this was like an, an infinite thing that you could just. It do. doesn't. I'm assuming it doesn't actually use my ammo. No, no, no. It gives you infinite ammo, and it gives you the gun even if you don't have it. Okay, and what's the like reward? You get tokens to use in the Gachapon machine, and you can use the tokens on the machine, and it gives you, it gives you like. Am I um, supposed to shoot these fools? No, not the sailors. The oh. Pirates. Why? Well, let's just let the time run out. I've already fucked myself. You can just pause and just just go through it. Like you might have to do it a couple times to get it right. Some of them are hard. Like some of them take me like like six, seven tries. If you hit a uh, start or escape, you can just um, start from the beginning. Hey, that guy didn't hit him. Oh, and if they have a thing on their face, I should shoot them there. The skull, yeah, the skull's worth bonus. Oops, I reloaded too early. Oh, the dynamite. Oh, okay, I got you. I got that you. guy has dynamite that you can shoot and he kills all of them. You got one. How is that a B? Yeah, it wasn't very good. Nice. You get one gold thing for getting all of the skulls, and you get a gold thing for getting like a certain amount of points. I'm not gonna do it and that so many what, times. So what we use for the uh, the the gotcha the gotcha pawn is like um. It gives you like little weapon charms. And like some of them are like special. And like one of them gives you like 30% off knife repair, right? Like that's something we've been struggling with. So like it's like some of them are really good. One of them gives you like um like healing items are worth like double the value when you sell them in the store. One of them's like the merchant is like 5% off his like wares. Just shoot the shoot the fucking dynamite. Oh sorry, I forgot where he spawns. I, I, you one more time. I think you got it. I think you'll you. Right, get the isn't bonus. an A good enough? Well, it is, but you didn't get the gold or the bonus round. Whatever. I'm not gonna tell you what you do. You don't want to do it again. One you more like time. It. Try to hit the skulls. Not, yeah. That's it. Oh, beautiful. Oh, dude, you got this. Just remember to shoot the dynamite on the last one. Nice. Oh, this is a good round. All right, reload. And no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Just shoot the dynamite. Oh, fuck. Oh, I have to hit the dynamite? I thought it was just <laughs> shoot the dynamite guy. <laughs> I, I didn't know it meant to hit the actual dynamite. <laughs> it's all right. You don't have to do it again. All right, are we, are we done here? If you want, I thought you would have liked the gotcha bomb machine. You can do the other ones, you don't have to. Oh, we have to the use the rifle sight. one. The rifle one is about like shooting through people. Your goal here is to like try to hit multiple targets. Oh, I can't go through the barrel. I 
I don't know what the zoom in button is on the uh, keyboard. At least you're getting some practice with the gun. Nice. See, like, you're a professional. You knew to just wait for them to align with each other. Alright, after this one, there's going to be one coming from the right, but wait for him to get into the middle before you shoot him, because there's one that crosses over. I played these too many times. Oh, you got a gold one. This final game. This I one, you have a rifle and a pistol. You just have to decide which one you need to use. You know. There's a guy behind the guy. The oh, I didn't see him there. Little tummy sticking out. Nice. That was pretty good. But isn't this like well made? It's so well done. Oh. I think it wants you to switch to the rifle. <laughs> Can't make me. That's true. This is a, this is a pistol. Man. Oh, you got a bonus. Nice. Reload, reload. Oh, babies. Bonuses everywhere. The little flying ones are worth 300. Nice. Did you hit all the skulls? I feel like you did. Dude, you got a lot of points. Oh, you were close, too. Wow. All right, now you get to go use the gotcha pump. And you only need the pistol in that one. I don't understand why you'd use the rifle. Well, the rifle helps you get, like, uh, through targets to get to the one behind you. It just makes it quicker and, like, more efficient. Oh, <sighs> uh, we don't have three of them. We only have two. I fuck it. <laughs> you gotta go back? I feel like the second one we could do better on, the rifle one. Oh, maybe not. Which one haven't we... Oh, that one. We haven't done good in this one. Yeah. We just need to shoot the dynamite on the last one and get the bonus. We'll that, yeah, that one was just my fault. I just didn't understand what I was supposed to be doing. Dude, everybody's loving this. Everybody's loving the shooting range. I mean, you love it. It's so good. Fuck. All right, wait, 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 wait. You can kill all of them with the bonus. There we go. Now you get the bonus. The last one on this is so hard. It's like a, a skull that flies across the top at the very end. Yeah. That oh. took me ages to get that skull. Yeah, it's a fucking pain in the ass. But you S tiered it, you got a gold. Now, we can do a full gold token. Because the gold increases the chance of getting a rare one, but you're not guaranteed it. So if you get if you don't get a rare one here, that would suck. Gold, 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 gold. Yeah. 20% the... resale value on weapons. Interesting. That That's... makes it so that you even if you upgrade a weapon, we could resell it and get you know, the, our money back, at least. That just gives you extra rifle ammo whenever you craft it. Dude, I know you're loving this. You wish they were, like, little anime girls that you got. Like, yeah, I love game. gotcha games. Yeah. Do we even have enough for no one? Oh, wait, one more. Woo! Okay. So now whenever we go back upstairs to the merchant, you equip those whenever you go to the uh, typewriter. Yeah, that was pretty useless, though. Like, they weren't good. <laughs> yes, yeah. They, some of them aren't that good. 
like the one I was saying, like the knife repair one is super good. I don't have and, that like, one. Stuff like, yeah, yeah, well. Oh, no you problem. can see what he has to trade for spin elves, but I don't think he has anything you're gonna buy. I'm guessing you don't want the Punisher. Why? The Punisher, like, it goes through multiple people. It's It does less r damage than the regular handgun, but you can penetrate through targets to the one behind them. And you don't need the treasure map, because I'm gonna tell you where the treasures are. You got nothing I want. Can't. Wait, do I put a gem in here? No. Selling them. You can sell your snake too if you want to. Well done. So how much can you sell your weapons for? Resale value. It doesn't. Oh, you don't have it equipped yet. You need. I don't to even know what that means. Repairs five thousand. Oh no, my god! Dead. No, it's so expensive. I'm interested. You go to your you go to your cat or your typewriter and then equip your charms. And then I want to see how much you can sell your weapons for. Storage? Yeah, customized case. Oh. You put them on the bottom, they like hang there. Probably that one and then the two ammo ones. I would guess. Unless you want the 10% recovery for green herbs. I like it. I like how they're all models from the original game too. That's kind of cute. They're all like the originals. Welcome. Oh, man, that extra, what, 20%? Your valuables won't yeah, I, I don't actually notice it. Whatever. Got a selection next time, then. Eventually, we'll sell one of our guns and we'll be like, oh, we got use out of that. Right? But wait, they got more. The selling went up with the upgrades. Only on the guns, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it did, but. Alright. We actually have to do something now. Except yeah, let's go do something. Let's be men and do stuff like men do. Oh man, the wind is picking up outside my house. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you. I was telling you earlier, the wind fucking, like, it was really intense for, like, an hour, and now it's, like, it's kind of calm now. Swamp monster. There's... Not in this, like, the next one. This is, like, a cave. Don't even let me in. You don't still have a key, do you? Spent all my keys. Okay. There's a drawer down here, but we don't have any keys. This one? Yeah. Nothing else to do? Nope. We're just gonna go out that door on the far side. Wait, which way did I came from? That way? Yeah, one. Yeah, you're going that way. No, 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 no. Yeah, you're going that way. You spun, like, you pointed at two different things as I was saying, you're going that way, but you you said, that? which door did I come through? That's the fucking, his ghee. Everybody knows the merchant buys, like, fucking cartons of ghee, and he just sticks his fingers in it and just goes, Ugh. Like, just for pleasure. Ugh. I'll buy that ghee at a high Ooh, price. look at this castle, dude. That's fucking huge. Yeah. Game wants me to look. I want you to look at the lake. You look at the lake, man. Damn, look at the size of that. Yeah, the size of that. The size is in everything, Leon. I'd rather have a smaller, better castle than that. Like, smaller, more compact, but like durable fort than a castle. Why is the, them disposing of that body such a big deal? There's it's dead bodies all over. I know, but like there's dead like bodies one. all over the place. Why did they make such a big deal of it? I guess to feed new big fish. Yeah, just to show you Del Lago. And you'd be like, oh. What was that Del Lago? That large salamander. Looks like there's something over there. <laughs> yeah? I, okay, yeah, there's also a big fucking fish in the water in there. It's not a fish, it's a salamander. It's a big fish. It's, it's in the water. It's, a, it's in the water. It's a fish. 
Do you know what those salamanders are called in real life, Dan? Wait, which kind is it even? An axolotl? Like, like the kind from Spain that are like big. You know what I'm talking about? I don't want to say the name. They have really cool names. I mean, I might, but I don't know what it is. They're called hellbenders. Oh, those things. Yeah, that's what it's modeled after. It's a hellbender. It's like Hellbenders, the the animated series on YouTube. <laughs> Pretty good stuff. He goes, I want, I want that one. Blue. <laughs> Give me blue. If you're watching this and you're like, man, I'd rather watch something that's way funnier and interesting. Just go like YouTube Hellbenders. It's fucking hilarious. Man, this part in the original. What's oh, one of the East Chunks? Rifle, rifle, rifle. Rifle? It's so hard to swap to. Well, you can equip it on a better key. Oops, I missed it. Yeah, I don't know if the rifle is what I wanted to use in this environment. <laughs> oh, we don't have any herbs. Yeah, but the rifle will melt him. All right, that's not on me. You can't put that one on me, right? I, I tried to parry it, to be honest with you. Oh, there is okay. a save right there, so I'm just trying to get him to kill me. Dan just throwing. He's throwing. Throw Sometimes. Me. Sometimes you gotta throw. When it auto-saves right before that fight starts, why wouldn't you? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, this part in the original The way it moves around drives me fucking crazy. He's doing like a Tuscan Raider chant. <laughs> Dude, you just killed him. The rifle is so good. Even dropped the smooth blue for your troubles. Dude, she got fucking like juking and died. Yeah, she was like Michael Jackson dancing. Not bad, right? Let me kill her. Oh, hello. Ooh, you're juking and driving too. My smelly pee. And speaking of big fish, did you see that fucking shark? That great white shark that was on the Outer Banks? No, I haven't been lately. Okay, you haven't been, but like, it was all over social media and the news. There was like a great white shark that had beached itself in the Outer Banks, and it's fucking massive. And these people's instincts upon seeing it were, let's try to drag it back into the water. Where it's gonna it's eat like, you? you? Yeah, exactly. It's like, no, if I was at the Outer Banks and I was like, I saw that, I'd be like, okay, I'm glad it's on land. Uh -huh. I'm a little, I'm probably not gonna go back in the water, but at least yeah. I know that, that it's his not buddies in might the be water. There. Uh oh. Well, at least I know he's not in there and he's gonna eat me. If they put him back in there, it's like, well, fuck me, I guess. I'm definitely not going to swim. Let me jump down. Time. Oh, shit. Is that thing dead? No, it's not. Oh, it is. Yeah, fuck you, Margaret. Nope. Yeah, I don't. And, like. A shark, it might flop around and bite a leg off or something, you know what I mean? When you're pushing it. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't touch it. If I was there on the, and everyone else is like, let's save the sharks. Like, what the fuck? Dude, I need to send you a picture of this now that you haven't seen it because it's insane. Hold on. This big, big Outer shark. Banks. Shark. Wash it. this eerie music here yeah i know there's definitely some people like running around playing the music you know, causing problems there's also a bunch of snakes here so look for some snakes
All right, I just sent it to your Discord. Look at this fucking thing. I guess you're in the middle of a fight. Yeah. <laughs> but that shark is fucking massive. Everybody that's watching this knows one time. They're all glued into social media. He's dead. Man, don't you wish you had the TMP? For crowd I mean, control? what kind of ammo does it use? It uses its own ammo, like submachine gun ammo. It seems like a hassle, because then I'd have that. Yeah, the, TM the TMP is worth it. Oh, Jesus. You Fuck me. I tried. You just tried. I was in, like, the reload animation. I couldn't get out of it. I see. We need, uh, we need, like, balance cancels in this game. We need to reload Got it. Where is that fucking... Oh, there he is. You can parry those, just so you know. You can also just get shot by them. That's true. Do we have... So <laughs> Hold on! Hold on! I want to count how many grenades you have in your inventory now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have seven hand grenades in your inventory. <laughs> that sounds about right. That's funny, man. Like, we have so many fucking hand grenades. That is ridiculous. Well, now you're down here with the rest of us. Yeah. I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. Oh, dude, he's gonna turn. He has the fucking nerve. I thought I could dodge that. It's alright. I do think that would be too powerful, though. It's like, a, like a dodge, like a, a dedicated dodge button in these games. Oh! I do think, though, I've heard this. I haven't personally, like, I can't record my own experience with it. But apparently, like, the, the parry button, if you use it while moving, like, it does sometimes, like, have a dodge animation attached to it. My knife. Oh, we're so good. I didn't kill so many of those fuckers. There's probably only a couple left. You killed a lot. That guy. So there's a, uh, there's a crack pipe hanging from one of the trees here. The antique crack pipe. Get up. Nice. Crack pipe hanging from a bird's nest. On the other side. There's some behind the thing. Yeah, that tree there. No, no, in front of you. Go around the corner. And left. Left, 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 left. Now, the real estate in this... I can't go out there. The real estate in this neighborhood... This is a terrible neighborhood. <laughs> oh! Yep, I just <laughs> ran right into that one. <laughs> I don't think we have anything to heal either. Nope. Oh, uh, I mean, we have like... You green herb combined with your red herb. Yeah, yeah, the game took pity on you there. We had an egg. Oh, yeah, we did have an egg. We'll save it in case we see another chainsaw guy. For those speed run strats. Yeah, this this neighborhood is not nice. But this is this is not like residential. This is just a fish farm. I believe it's called the fish farm. So what do you expect from a fish farm? Better than this, I haven't seen any fish. I see this one, you dumb fucks. You won't fool me too. There much. are a bunch of snakes in the water though. Have you seen a snake yet? There's not like a single five. Snake. I remember when I was younger, I went to a fish farm with my cousin. And, and one of you I came asked back. Him, <laughs> well, hold on. Well, and I said to him, I said, hey, look, 
like if you get really close to the fish and like feed them like in a certain way like you get like lots more of them and he like got real close to the edge and i shoved him in <laughs> yeah i shoved him in oh, dude i was like me. fucking seven i was like a little psychopath I remember this because our, our parents were so upset. They were like, why did Jesse shove him into the pod? I was like, well, Jesse's just an asshole. Any treasures? We need the fuel for the boat. That's the whole reason why we're here. Boat fuel. Not for anything else. You couldn't use that fuel on a tractor or a car or a gas or like a lawnmower. Only. Only boats. Another time. This actually this comes full circle. Because another time I was in a boat with my uh, uncle, my the cousin I pushed into the the fish farm. Oh, you're going um, for the whole generational yeah, like, yeah. disrespect here. I, it's not really his dad. It's his stepdad though. Um. I was okay, in a well, boat I'm not with the this fucking man. judge. I'm, I'm not. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just trying to be accurate here. I was in a boat with this man, and he was like showing me how fast it could go. He'd be like, Jesse, like check this out. These boats so fast. And I was like, Oh man, this is so. Cool. Were you impressed? I'm was it faster this. than your dad's boat? Yeah, it was definitely faster than my dad's boat, and it was pretty fun. But then at one point he goes, Oh no, I'm out of gasoline. I'm like, What do you mean you're out of gasoline? Like, what do we do? And he's like, We have to row. And we were about to like run into some trees. He's like, "Come on, Jesse, fucking row! Like, put your back into it. Like, we gotta get away from these trees." And I was so stressed out. I was like, "Man, oh, I really wish I wasn't in this fucking this situation." This fucking parry is rough. Yeah, you're struggling with the parry. I don't know if it's just a keyboard thing because I find it's very forgiving on the, or on the controller. I can hit parry within like a ten second like window, and I will get the parry. I don't have a 10 second window. This guy's having a rough go of it down there. Chat. Just trying to, he's just trying to right. Trying to, you know, put the fucking deep. Check. Do some big checks. Well, meanwhile, that guy died like instantly. Yeah, that guy who did not put up much of a fight at all. Out of the way. Dead. Out of the way. I'm trying to get this boat fuel back to the boat. I could have left like three minutes ago, but I just wanted to make sure you're all dead. It's I a learned from issue. Claire. I learned from yeah. Claire that we're not leaving anyone alive. She's not. Time. I'm not going to be as bad as I was in that run. It's not a. We have to kill everyone, but we will kill most people. Leon needs more experience. If I can level up. I will be a wild. Where are you going? Barrel right here. Oh, the barrel. You missed the barrel. I didn't miss it. I just hadn't picked it up yet. Another snake. Snakes. Get them. We can use snakes to heal. So even if we don't need to sell them to vendors, we can pick them up and they are like healing items in our inventory. Where are we going back to the big start? Yeah, we just gotta uh, find the way back. I think there's a ladder you can take. Yeah, I climbed it earlier. Forget where it was though. Yeah, right. Up, 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 up. Dramatic's gonna happen. Nah, you did it. You're out of the scary area. It's pretty wild that the only way to get to the fish farm is through the weird cave system we built into the walls. It's a very odd, odd location in most respects. Why do they need a fish farm? Like, what are fish farms for, Dan? Fish? Because we eat them, we farm the fish. So fi the fish are that are at the farm are for like people consumption. Oh, in normal fish farms, yeah. Uh, how far away was that typewriter? It's just right up. We're gonna get an auto save here in a second. I want to end the episode. 
Oh, okay, gotcha. We're gonna save the boat for the next episode. Like that's our cliffhanger. Boats. It's our nail biter. Like, will Dan get on the boat or will he just stop playing the game? I don't want to fight the big salamander. You decide. In the comments, let us know if Dan should just stop playing. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't well, say that, Jesse, because I think the people might say yes. Yeah, they just want to watch more Hollow Live. That's all anybody fucking wants. All these fucking kids and their anime VTubers. Like, nobody Can wants to watch outro? Like, real gameplay anymore. They just want to watch anime women. I'm the right outro? there with you. Have the stench of okay, what scares you more, Dan? <laughs> Would you be more afraid if... It's like pulling teeth. You it's not. <laughs> it's not. If Sakura Miku... Like, if you got to meet her, but you learned that she's actually, like, a crazy person. Like, she's, like, a psychopath that, like, would, like... It has maybe killed people in the past and has, like, mm -hmm. body parts in her fridge. Or... If, like, somebody told you that, like, you could never watch Hollow Live again. What? Which one scares you more? <laughs> I like how you, you then just add that in as if you just gave a competent, <laughs> like, bit. These aren't frightening. You, it is you, frightening! These aren't things that scare me, though. One of them is just I can't watch Hollow Live anymore, which is inconvenient. It's not scary. Yeah, but that would be scary if you had to, like, think about, like, you, like if somebody said, like, hey, Dan, like, maybe tomorrow you won't be able to watch Hollow Live again, you'd be like, what? Like, no, I love Hollow Live. It's not okay, scary, Jesse. And, okay, but, <laughs> I don't know how scary you want these to be. But that's not scary at all. There's nothing fright. There's nothing inherently scary about that. It's just like inconvenient or upsetting. All right, I'll make them more scary. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep like this is like a tuning process. Like eventually we'll get like a scary one. I'm sorry. And the other option is Miko is a serial killer. But you like you get to meet her, but you learn that she's like actually a serial. Killer. Does she kill me? No, but you know about it, and now you can't, like, respect her anymore. Oh, I guess I'll take that one and just report her to the police, I suppose. But then your favorite girl would be in jail. She wouldn't be my favorite girl if I learned she had people's body parts in her fridge. Really? Is that where you draw the line? That is, I think I'm going to have to draw the line there. That's a bridge too far, Jesse. Really? That would make her your not favorite girl if you learned she was a serial killer. If she was a serial killer. Jesse, I, that's the case for most people in life. If I learned they were I a serial bet, killer, I would let the police know. I bet there are some, some Sakura Miku fans out there that would love her regardless of her serial killer status. And I want you to rise up and tell Dan that he is a... He's a poser. <laughs> he, he doesn't actually like Sakura Miku. He... He would report her to the police if she was the serial killer. And, and left the body parts in her fridge, yeah. Yeah. I guess that's a bridge too far. This is just so disappointing. <laughs> I can't, I can't be, they can't be gold every time, you know? They can't be you gold You say every that time. every time. They can't be. Jesse, <laughs> when's the last time you had an ending bit that you were proud of? Let me know. <laughs> oh no i can't it's too scary that's that's my own like personal one is like would i rather come up with a good ending bit or just like completely i like, come up with it on the spot every episode goodbye goodbye Forever.